YouTube program for people. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Now today is GTA 5 online video. I'm gonna show you guys how to complete the treasure hunt to get the stone axe in GTA 5 online. Alright, so what you want to do is hop into a GTA 5 online session and you wanna be outside of a building. Because uh, I guess you don't get the text when you're outside when you're inside of a building. Alright, so when you're outside, it should take at least five to six minutes to get the text. And when you get the text, it's gonna be from Maud. And it's gonna say, Hello stranger, I interest you in some bounty hunting or in no sort of supply of those that need bring into the bottom of the law. Just uh, need to find them and kill them. Um, if needs to be, I'll send you a rifle a file soon. And when you get that text, it should take a couple minutes for you to uh, actually get your first bounty. When you do get your first email from Mod, all you want to do is open it up. And it will give you a photo of uh, a guy to kill or to bring into her. Now, these won't be the same as mine. You'll get different people and stuff. But when you look at that text, you want to open your map. And you will see, if you look around, a yellow circle somewhere where he might be oh yeah see my guys down here at the beach now when wherever your location is they might not be as the same as mine but you just want to go down to the uh, yellow circle all right, so when you get down to the yellow circle all you need to do is find the guy that uh, you're looking for and he should look exactly from the text message that mod sent you now he would be anywhere around the area, it could be anywhere, so just look everywhere that you can. So I just killed my first bounty and it gave me a bounty complete and mod sent me cash. Now there will be five bounties you have to do. So I just complete my first one and she will as soon send me another email with another bounty. So just wait for that. All right, so it's been a few minutes and Mon sent me another email with another target. This time it is a female and it says, hey, I got another one for you. Miserable soul head over to the cords on your GPS and save them from themselves. All right, so this bounty is, where is it at? Over here, this should be pretty easy. So same thing like last time, just go over to your second spot and find them and kill them. Alright, so I'm just about to pull up here now. Now the person will be somewhere in this circle. Oh, she is there. She is right there. That was easy. Let's just get out. Run over to her. Oh, she's over here. I thought she was in a bank. Run over to whoever it is and pop them in the head. Like that. Now that will be bounty number two done. Now you just want to wait for another text from Maud and go ahead and go over to your third bounty. Alright, so I just got my third bounty text email from Maud. Alright, let's see what this one will be. This time it is another guy. It looks like it be a <laughs> Cholo wannabe motherfucker. Um, and this one is over... Where is this one at? Don't you want to look on the map? He's over here in Grapes. Oh shit, that's a little far away. So just like the last two, just go over, find them, and kill them. All right, I just reached my third location here in Grape Sea. Now all you want to do is search around and find your target, if your target even is in Grape Seed. All right, I'm pretty sure I just found my target. I think that's him right there across the street. So I'm gonna go over there, approach him if he runs or comes. Yep, see that? That's him right there. Third target down. You will get a complete um, bounty. And all you want to do is wait for your fourth bounty email. All right, so I just got my fourth bounty email from Mod, and this time it says, "Hey, I want to hear a secret? Got a tip off about a target or after they're over at the spot on GPS, and it's a guy this time. And my location is where is it? Up here on the highway, which that's pretty close from where I am." So I'm going to repeat from the last one, just find and the kill. Alright, so I'm about to pull up to my fourth bounty location here. Now let me, you can double check to see what the guy or girl looks like. All you want to do is search around that area, find him and kill him. Guys, I found my guy, he's over here at the diner. So if you do get any of those these locations, Try to check where I'm killing them at and they might be there as well. So just go up to him and kill him and you'll get cash. And she will send you your final bounty email 
in a few minutes after you kill him. Alright, so I just got my last and final bounty email from Mod, and this time I'm looking for another guy, and he will be located, um, where is he at? Down here on the pier. Now, just go there, find him, and kill him. Now, if any of these locations are the same to yours, like I said in the previous clip, um, try and go where I am kill them at to see if they're there. I don't know if they'll be there, but I'm pretty sure the locations that everyone gets is going to be random. So, just go to wherever your final location is, find your uh, the guy or girl, and kill them. Alright, so when you get to your fifth and final location, you know what to do like the previous one. Find and kill. So I found the location of the final guy here on the period right there. So if you do have any of these locations, I guess I'm going to keep repeating myself. Try the locations that I killed them at. So this guy's going to be right here. So when you kill him, you'll kill your last uh, guy. Depending where you're at, you might get the cops on you and that. But when you do complete, you will, in a couple minutes after completing, get a text from Maud telling you where the location of the stone hatchet is. Oh, see, I just, I just got it right here. Um, a text from Maud telling me where the stone hatchet is. Now, here it is. It's right up there in the mountains for me. It will be different for everybody. So you're not going to have the same location as I do, but when you get that location, all you want to do is head there. Now I'm here at the location now. When you do get to the location, there will be a little wooden box here right on the bed. Open it, and you now have unlocked the stone hatchet from Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, if you do get 25 kills with it, you'll get 250k, and as well, you will be able to get it in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now that's going to be the end of the video, hope you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like and su subscribe, and I might be doing a BO4 beta stream later, so if you guys want to tune in that, be look out for that, um, and until next time, see you guys later, and peace out.